Hello world, welcome back to the series on mastering coding patterns. In this series, our goal is to use coding patterns to ace technical interviews. We are learning coding patterns and solving lead code questions so that we can get a good grip on these patterns. Yesterday and previously, we have been uh, looking at sliding window approach and how sliding window is applied. Uh, we can apply sliding window on lead code questions. Now we are looking at two pointer approach now in this approach what we use what we do we introduce two pointers that help us reduce a nested a loop into a one single loop and where this can this can help us this can help us let's say if you if we want to compare two elements in a given array or let's say if we want to swap two elements in a given array or if you want to partition two arrays we can use two pointer approach now how this is going to work let's see from an example here we have this question find palindromes and uh, in this question what we have to do we have we are given with an array and we have to return true if the given array is a palindrome and we have to return false if the given array is not a palindrome so let's find out so naive approach what naive approach could be naive approach could be like whatever the array you have been given you just reverse the array and create a new one and then compare each element at a very given index for example at the zeroth index you compare that at one index you compare that at two you compare that let's see uh, if i just copy it so let's say this one is the reversed uh, this one is the reversed one okay because since the race car is a palindrome itself so whether i reverse it or not it will remain same so let's say I have already reversed it. So whatever was at the last index at minus one, I have brought it to zero and whatever was at zero, I have brought it to minus one. Okay. So I have uh, reversed the whole uh, array. You can say now what is happening now we are going to compare. Now we are what we are going to compare. We are going to compare each uh, at each index of both of these um, both of these arrays uh, so if at a very given index both elements in both of these arrays are same then we say okay move on and we will do this till the very end uh, and we, if every time we will get true so overall if we will get true we will say yes this is a palindrome if we will get false then we will say this is not a palindrome this is a naive approach okay this is not the two point approach this is a naive approach so let's say we reversed uh, we reverse it and this is the reverse array now our loop will start and it will start comparing uh, at each iteration it will compare the elements both of the bo both of the arrays elements so let's say at the zeroth index r was there and in the reverse one r was there so what will happen yes it is true move forward a a true c c true e e true so it is basically comparing these two comparing these two okay and it will uh, continue till this position so this is a valid approach this is a valid approach it will give you the answer but is this an optimized approach no why first of all we have to create another array and then we have to reverse it and then we have to compare both of the elements one by one so why to add why to add this additional space if we if uh, if we can solve this question without of adding any additional space by using two pointer approach so now let's see how two pointer works so i am going to remove all of these annotations and i am going to remove this one as well because we don't need to create and reverse an array what we can do instead we can in introduce two variables that will act as pointers for us and we, we what we will do we will put the left one uh, here at this position and the right one here at this position okay now uh, our job is to find out the palindrome so what is a palindrome a palindrome is a word that uh, if you read backward or forward in both of the situations the word will uh, will appear the same for example let's say 
uh, race car so if you if i read race car from from this position till this position okay the word will remain it, it, the word will look like the same or if i read from here till here the word will still remain the same but let's say let's say if i say if i say three two one is this a palindrome no this integer is not a palindrome why this is not a palindrome because if i start reading from left it will be three to one but when i start reading from this side the right what will happen it will be one two three because first one then two then three so it will be one two three and three to one is not equal to one two three so that's why three to one is not a palindrome okay so i hope you got the idea what a palindrome is now let's jump towards the question so uh, we were uh, at these two pointers so i have put this left pointer i try to make it as l so that uh, it it gives you a nice visualization and this is r so this left pointer will be placed at the very left position which is the zeroth index and this right pointer will be placed at the very right position which is the minus one index now ali will it always follow like we have to put both at the very corners no this is not the uh, not a mandatory thing it depends on a use case to use case the main goal of understanding this two pointer approach is that our job is to introduce two pointers that help us reduce uh, time complexity of traversal th that help us reduce f uh, nested loops and we can use one loop without of uh, adding additional uh, space complexity or time complexity and we can solve a given question so here in this question uh, we can solve it with just one uh, one for loop uh, or while loop so the goal is one loop and we can solve it in o of one time complexity a space complexity rather than uh, creating an uh, additional array and then reversing it what we are going to do we are going to use the very same array that we ha we have been given with uh, what we have introduced here is this variable which will act as a pointer for us left and right variable which will act as a pointer for us uh, at the very from the very right position okay now what we will do we will simply move them towards each other at each given iteration and we will check whether the value they are pointing towards are same or not for example at the let's say we are starting an index so at the zeroth iteration what will happen i am uh, 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 i hope you un understand the iteration from why i'm uh, using zero like you can use one two three but just for the indexing part understanding zero one two okay so at the zeroth iteration what is happening r uh, l is pointing towards r and right is pointing towards r so both elements are same so it means check now when both elements will be same so we will further move this ahead okay now this will point towards a now we will move r uh, uh, this side towards left and this will point towards a now we will then check whether left and r are pointing towards uh, similar elements yes a and a check check then we will further move this forward this, now this will point towards c this will move forward this will point towards c now let's check and check yes both are pointing towards c now uh, you can uh, use this e but there's no use of using e here because like um, both of them will point towards these very same element e so our job was to compare this side with this side uh, and since uh, this is a palindrome a valid palindrome so that's why uh, our code will return true let's say if there was a code which was uh, if there was an array which was not a palindrome so what would have happened okay so let's say let's put it here and let's create that example of three 
two one okay so now let's put our left one here our right one here and left one is pointing towards three uh, right one is pointing towards one so what will happen that at the very zeroth iteration what will happen that uh, left when we will compare both of the uh, both of their values so three is not equal to one and that's why at the very zeroth position it is going to return us false okay if it was let's say if it was a palindrome let's say if i make it one so one to one is a palindrome because left is pointing towards one and the right is pointing towards one so what it would have done it would have given yes as the answer true okay so true this is a valid palindrome cool now i hope you got the idea uh, how to solve this problem using two point approach so let's jump towards our solution so how to code uh, this question and before coding this question let's first discuss so this question is uh, question number nine valid uh, this question is palindrome number okay and what this question is asking this question is giving you an integer and it is asking tell us whether the given integer is a palindrome or not if the given integer is a palindrome written true if the given integer is not a palindrome written false why ali this one to one is not a uh, not a palindrome because there is minus here so minus one is not equal to one okay now what we are going to do we are going to first of all uh, type cast this integer into a string now there is a better way of solving this question but that would have uh, that would be very challenging to understand especially at this level once we will move forward and we will practice more questions and uh, develop a better understanding of other concepts then i believe we uh, we should go towards that approach but if you want to check on your own you can search bitwise digital uh, bitwise digit traversal so you can use bitwise operations in order to traverse on uh, digits that will save you from uh, creating additional space and type casting so okay so now what we are going to do we are going to introduce our two uh, two pointers so we are introducing left a variable and we are initializing it with value zero because left will uh, start from at uh, uh, at the zeroth index so left will start from the zeroth index and then there's right and where right will start right will start from the very last index which is going to be length of x minus one cool because in uh, uh, index starts from zero so the length is three three minus one is two so zero one and two cool okay then what we are going to do we are going to introduce our loop i am using a while loop so i am saying while left is uh, less uh, while left is less than right why Ali why left is not equal to right or uh, uh, why Ali you are not introducing equality simply because we don't want to go to this element because this element is irrelevant for us our aim is to just uh, reach like uh, our aim is to reach to left of this element and reach to right of this element okay so we will remain till here and we will compare it both but uh, we don't want uh, both of them to get equal and compare this one so what will happen then when our uh, when our left and right will become equal our while loop will break so rather than going and checking this it will automatically uh, break the while loop okay so when these two pointers will become equal and we will code it and we will see how and when they will become equal so rather than uh, when uh, uh, when they will become equal and we check we will stop it at these positions 
के सो इफ एक्स लेफ्ट इज नॉट इक्वल टू एक्स राइट वेरी सिंपल ओके सिंस वी हैव टाइप कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड नाउ दिस इंटीजर हैज बिकम स्ट्रिंग सो वॉट वी आर वी कैन यूज इंडेक्सिंग हेयर सो वॉट वी आर सेंग दैट गो टू एक्स जीरो इंडेक्स एंड देन मैच इट विथ एक्स राइट सो द लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड इफ यू फाइंड बोथ ऑफ दैम नॉट इक्वल देन वॉट यू हैव टू it means that that the uh, that the integer is not in not a palindrome so what we will do we will return false okay else let's say both of them were equal like in this case 1 to 1 so at, at x0 there was one at the last element at the last index uh, x has one so what happened here that um what happened that we want our code to move forward okay but how this will save the checking of this 2 to because uh, how simply we are going to move our left so we are going to add and a one here so it will move towards 2 and we are going to subtract one from our right okay the uh, initially the initial value of right was 2 because 0 1 2 and we are saying length minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 okay so initial value uh, of right was 2 but when we are doing minus 1 so both left and right will contain One one. Okay. Since the loop is saying break if left is equal to or greater than right. Okay. If left becomes equal to or greater than right, then we have to break. This condition means simply this: that while left is less than right, keep looping. When uh, left becomes equal to or greater than right, then break. So our loop will break. So this two will never get checked if. i would have rather than less than if i would have said equal to let's say so what would have uh, so what would be uh, what would have happened that um, here our x left would contain 2 because of the one position uh, when we added one and our x right would con uh, would have contained 2 so still both of them were pointing towards the uh, would have pointing towards the same element and that's why we uh, this condition uh, will not uh, like will not be executed and rather than returning false we will initially go to the last element so, but we don't want to check this thing that's why we didn't include this equals to sign and what we are going to do we are going to include true because eventually our goal is to return either true or false based on whether the integer is um a palindrome or not so here since the palindrome in this case i am talking about the uh, the integer is a palindrome and that's why what will happen it is going to return true in this case the integer is not a palindrome despite being uh, minus 1 to 1 because minus 1 is not equal to 1 so that's why it uh, it is going to return false okay now let's submit this code so i am going to click on it run and it got accepted i am going to submit it and and our code got submitted here Mm. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh that that was it. Th this was a nice little brief overview and introduction whatever you can say of a uh, two pointer approach. Tomorrow we are going to see how two pointer works on a little complex uh question. don't worry the uh, the uh, don't worry when you will see the question i hope and after getting a good understanding of two point approach even that question will will be a piece of cake for you so stick with me and i'll see you tomorrow take care bye